Hey everyone, I just wanted to create this video to show you how you're going to be able to use Cecil in the classroom. So in your pack that you will get tomorrow, it will look like this. There will be a collection of things in there that you can use. Some of these are activities that you can do at home um, and that will be easy to do, so some of the things are like um, explore your backyard um, or front yard looking for insects. We've been learning a lot about insects at the moment. Um, turn on the music and create a dance. Um, take some photos of around your school area and things like that. So these will be really easy activities to do. There are worksheet templates here that you can use as well. These are at your discretion to use, they're not compulsory at all. I'm just going to share with you in this video particularly how students can share their work via Seesaw. So for the last uh, two weeks, um, students and you guys have been using Seesaw at home. And what you're going to get is you're going to get a sheet that looks like this. And it's going to have your child's name here at the top. And this is slightly different to the Seesaw that you guys have been using at home. So at the moment, you're using the family app. So the app that says family on it. And that gives you a parental type of view of how we do things in class. When you're doing home learning, now that we're on our um, level four lockdown, you're going to be using the class app. And now on your instructions here, it tells you which app to download. So this time you want to use the class app. And that means they'll be able to access activities that I post in class on Seesaw. So there have got individual logins in this pack. You can use the family app to post pictures, videos, things that your child does at home. That is totally cool. But they will not be able to see the activity side like this one. So this one is home access to our class. So this wouldn't usually go home, but because we're doing distance learning and learning online, this is how we're going to meet those needs. So I'm going to show you how to log on as a student um, with your home learning code. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get the app onto your iPad. So the great thing about Seesaw is it can be accessed across different platforms. So you can use um, a, a tablet, iPad, computer, laptop, anything, phone, and it will show you the same thing um, across different platforms. So you head over to your app store. And currently you will have Seesaw Family, which you can see on the left of my screen. This is the app that you've been using predominantly for your Seesaw interactions. Now you're going to open the Seesaw Classroom app. So that's the other one there on the right. You want to download that. Then when it's downloaded, you can open it up. So on your instruction handout, it does prompt you and tell you what to do. So you're going to open it up here and this time you're going to click I'm a student because your students are using it for themselves. I'm a student. And then it's going to say you can enter in a text code which is currently on the handout or you can scan the QR code. So I'm just going to lift my iPad across and it's going to take me to Grace's one. There we go. So it's now loaded me onto Grace's um, Seesaw account. You can turn notifications on if you want or off. Now when it's in this home learning view you can only see your child's name on the right which means you can only see Grace's work. The reason you can see a post like this one here is it says it is linked to everyone. So it is a post from me Mrs Presley that's linked to everyone. Now when I come over to activities which is the second tab here there will be some activities here that I will post. So this one here is an example to show you what it will look like if Grace or anyone decided to fill in this activity they would click add response. They won't need to choose their name because it is already logged into their account then they can use the tools to answer the question. So for example if they had to show different ways about the number five they could do things like two plus three and here I'm just using my finger to add in the information on my activity. Students know that when they're done they click the green tick here and it will upload their work onto Seesaw. Now when students have added work it then says waiting for teacher approval. So I still need to check the work and 
and approve it before it goes live and I will write them back a comment underneath and when that is done it will come over here on the far right under inbox so this is your notifications there's two things here that you can see one is messages one is notifications I will use the messages tab to send messages to the students so I will send them to both the family and students it will be things like How's your day going? What are you doing? Share a picture, maybe a funny picture, a quote, something that I'm doing, something to keep them going throughout this time apart. Under notifications, if I was to add a comment onto their work, it would show up here. Students know how to access and add work. They come up to the big green plus, choose one of the tools, I'm going to take a selfie photo just to show you how. You switch it up the top right with the blue camera. Tap one of the green buttons. They could use it to take a photo of themselves showing me some artwork. They could type a sentence, this is my art. They could add a recording. This is my artwork here that I made. They could add another picture, they could change the background, all of these things that they can do on their work and evidence. When they're done, they click the green tick, check their work. This is my artwork here that I made. And assign it to their journal. This again will then get asked for teacher approval first. See it says waiting for teacher approval, which the teacher needs to check before it is added. The other tools that the students could use is photo, drawing, video, upload, note or link. And any of these tools are used for any of the activities from home.